Okay, as I lay here in a lot of pain, because I just typed some things out and stuff. I've been typing, trying to type for the last week, uh, two weeks. It's been really rough. Uh, so what? a lot of stuff has happened, and I wrote a letter to the head of the HHC, HHS, but problem is that um, any day now, tomorrow, President Trump is actually going to put another new per person in that position. So all that work really kind of for nothing because uh, they're putting someone new in. And, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm laying here on my heating pad. I'm in a lot of pain. And I'm wearing my arthritis gloves and all that. Uh, but what I did do is I called the White House. I tried to talk to the new, the, the, the counselor to Donald Trump, uh, Kelly Ann Conway, who is, uh, he, he's appointed her to lead off what they're calling, um, the opioid drug, uh, initiative. So now it's not medicine anymore. It's a drug, which is really horrible uh, for us pain patients who think of it as medication it is something to help us to be able to function and stuff at all get out of bed or anything uh it's awful but anyways i i talked to someone at the white house and was suggested that i make a we the people petition which i did uh they limited my words and everything but Apparently, it's going it, to, if I get 100,000 signatures in 30 days, uh, then I get, it gets before Congress and the president and uh, they address it and they will actually contact me for more information so I can give them more information at that time. Um, so the petition is kind of short and sweet and then hopefully to the point enough, um, I couldn't really explain anything much in it other than we're suffering and pain and they forgot to present us, the people who are taking these medications legitimately and are not overdosing and we've been taking them for many years without incident uh, or anything, overdose of any kind, um, that they did not give the correct numbers and stuff. I, I did the best I could. I could not explain all that to them, but I did put in the other stuff. So anyway, I'm going to post here underneath this video the link to the petition, the We the People petition is, is what they call it, We the People. If we can get 100,000 signatures in 30 days, they guarantee it's supposed to go before Congress and they're supposed to look at it. So. Hopefully we can get some attention to this because um, from what I've learned from calling and and uh, I've written the White House on their website that tells us to do that and type in stuff. But but uh, I never have heard back from the president in two, two, well, in a year and a half, I guess it's been. Uh, I Well, I wrote the uh, former president... Um, and then I've, I've written Donald Trump as well, President Donald Trump. So i uh, never got any responses from either one. Um, there, there are probably billions of things coming into them. So um, that is why they will only look at a petition that has at least 100,000 signatures to it. And so that is why I need everybody to sign and share this petition amongst everybody that they can who is suffering from pain because otherwise they won't even pay attention to it i'm finding roadblock after roadblock like everyone else is i'm trying so hard but it's like you know unless we get a new spot or a spot on a a media uh place or something uh we're not going to be heard I really wish that the media would pay attention to me, especially because my intractable pain comes from very visible injuries and things, and it's uh, 
it's a very obvious thing. It's not something that doesn't show like some people's, like Crohn's disease and things. You know, the fibromyalgia, it's hard to um, see those people's pain. But mine is visible. And I really wish they would put me on some sort of a media outlet of some sort that is widely watched. And uh, let me explain what's going on with everybody who is suffering in this horrible pain and not getting the treatment that we need because of this opioid attack uh, or attack against opioids because of the people who are drug addicts and the people who abuse and misuse and and the heroin acts they've put us all in the category the same category with the heroin addicts which to me is discrimination I have never once turned to heroin for my pain as grueling and awful and torturous as it is I have never once gone to heroin for my pain that is absolutely ridiculous and for them to put us in that category with these addicts it's just frustrating so anyway the link to the petition is going to be posted with this please please sign it share it pass this around share it as much as you can everywhere if we don't get a hundred thousand signatures in 30 days it's over they toss it they archive it and congress won't even look at it so let's try to get that done and that's what i'm doing right now i still am working on other things but that is what we're doing right now as of december 5th okay god bless all of you and um i hope that everyone is uh is okay out there and i'm sorry i'm doing the best i can to help us all okay uh god bless you guys and and i pray that you guys have some things done and you guys have a pain-free christmas I know that I'm not going to, um, I'm not even celebrating Christmas this year. It's just too much work and too much, and I don't have any little children right now, so there's no reason for me to even get out of bed on Christmas morning. I just don't even enjoy it anymore. Anyway, sign the petition, and um, we'll be back. See you guys later. God bless. Mm -hmm.